하이드로켓 장착용 수소탄 시험에서 완전 성공 to being able to strike the U.S. mainland. North Korea is making good on its threat to build a missile that can hit the United States. This is North Korea's most successful missile test yet. Yeah, there's no doubt this missile could travel thousands of miles. It could reach Alaska. On July 4, 2017, North Korea tested an intercontinental ballistic missile powerful enough to reach the state of Alaska. That was the first time the so-called Supreme Leader demonstrated a capability to hit the United States with a nuclear warhead. But just around this same time, bear attacks were up around Anchorage, and the salmon run wasn't as big as it used to be. Frankly, there were more important things to worry about than North Korea. I've not heard any Alaskan ever say that they were preparing for some nuclear Armageddon or something. I mean, the one hazard I would say most Alaskans think about a lot is just driving home. You know, it's like you're probably more scared about the guy in the car next to you driving home. And there's no doubt that these things close to you, the hazards that you see on a daily basis certainly are strong in our minds. We just had an earthquake. We're still it's going on. Earthquake. Going on right now. Holy freaking cow! Well, what you have to understand uh, about Alaska, there's a couple things. So when we plan for our disasters, we plan for uh, all hazards response, whether it be the floods, the fires, the volcanoes, the mudslides, to the catastrophic earthquake events that we have seen here in Alaska. Oh! Cow. Tell us where we are right now. This is the Alaska State Emergency Operations Center, and our mission is to make sure the local communities have what they need to respond to disaster and emergencies, and if not, to fix that. This is a very quiet state of Alaska. It turns red when there's a warning issued, and then we have to determine the kind of warning that's issued. Um, what does this room look like when North Korea tests a missile? To be honest with you, a missile test or anything else is just, we see it in the news, there's, you know. By contrast, this is what the room in North Korea looks like when it tests a missile. So while North Korea makes a big show of every nuclear advance, our approach thus far is decidedly less involved. If I had any idea that on Independence Day, that North Korea was going to screw with America, I would have talked about it or been, you know, concerned or something. It would have had a bit of blip on my radar. I had no idea. Do I worry about something like that? Absolutely not. Now, if he tries to invade, come get some, baby. We'll get out the bear guns and we'll dance, but that's not going to happen. That's not how things are done anymore. So, um, am I worried about North Korea? No. Yeah. Sockeye salmon looks like. There you go. Life's just different up here. Maybe it's just the geographical distance and the fact that things are just a little slower to get up here and slower up here in general. The main things you're going to find in the news that are consistent are like some kind of a bear story, the fish report, things that are very like Alaskan in nature. 
An unwelcome customer paid a visit to a liquor store in Juneau, Alaska. A young black bear strolled into the store and had a poke around. What a day, you guys! And what title should we give you on the bottom of the screen? Uh, on the bottom of the screen, uh, old school border. Whether it's snow or water, I'm on a board. Do you watch the news? No, heck no. It's really nice to just kind of reconnect with others and disconnect from technology. I think that is a, something unique to Alaskans, taking advantage of that time to step away and then selectively feed ourselves with news. Did you hear about uh, North Korea's missile test? Not on July 4th, but I did later that week. It wasn't um, something that was like a big, um, nobody like notified me or anything about it. So no, I wouldn't say it was a big deal. <laughs> North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Thank you. Well, that may be the first time this generation felt the fire and fury, but older Alaskans, they remember well the nuclear threats from their closer and way better armed Soviet neighbors. The Russians sold us Alaska, so I love Russia. I've, every Russian I've met, I've hugged because they sold us Alaska, you idiots. Thank you, Russians. We'll take it and we'll take good care of it. I assume you were a kid during the Cold War. Well, 1969 is when I was born. Did they put you through any like emergency preparedness? Oh, okay, earthquakes, things like that. Yeah, we've practiced for that, but not for war. Politics is, it's brain stuff. Yeah, I'd rather do physical stuff. I don't want to get stuck in the world of man. man all, everything that we create is an illusion. It's our own messed up vision of whatever. You know, this is like deja vu all over again. Alaska is a front line of, of North American defense, so if they were going to launch from the Soviet Union, uh, the shortest way to, to reach Washington or Chicago or L.A. is over the pole. So there's three Nike sites around Anchorage. They all had nukes. People had a suspicion, but they didn't really realize how much nuclear capacity we had. These two doors here, this is actually a, a, a missile assembly area also. And so the missiles are 40 feet long, and they weighed 10,600 pounds. In the 64 earthquake, some of the rockets actually fell off the rack, separated. The rocket fuel was present in the room. The guys could smell it and everything. They had to spend six days getting this thing put back in shape, never knowing at the time whether they were going to all go up in smoke. The threat of nuclear annihilation was always hanging above us like a, a sword of Damocles. In fact, we had kind of a gallows humor up there. We always hoped that we could get a couple off before we'd be glowing ourselves. So do you think the North Korea threat is dangerous? Do I think the North Korea threat is dangerous? To North Korea, perhaps. He could destroy us in Anchorage, but North Korea would be wiped out. I don't know if they understand that. I'm sure I'd be more passionate about a lot of these topics if they affected me personally. Maybe I haven't been proactive enough in reading everything that's out there, but I kind of like it that way. <laughs> I'm not concerned, it's simple. If he sends a nuke over here, the impact's not gonna get me, but the radiation will. Is there anything I can do about it? I don't think so. People are far more aware of the hazards that are close to them. When are we gonna get it? We're all here together. Maybe Martians need to show up so we have something to come together against to make us figure out that we're all one big family. Moral proximity suggests that we're only really concerned with what's immediate to us. If Alaska, or to a larger extent America, doesn't seem to give a f that doesn't make us irrational, it makes us human. So maybe it would take something big that affects all of us at once to bring us together, like an alien invasion. Which in its own way is kind of a nice thought. If the Martians do come, maybe it won't be so bad.
assuming they're susceptible to nukes. 